So this is the pin that holds the gantry arm on and it goes in there but when the gantry arm's off and it's a ramp I need to fasten it on the back of the trailer here so I took two pieces of quarter inch angle iron weld it together and I'm gonna I'm gonna weld this right there and this fits inside here because it's the same width as the gantry arm and then I'm gonna drill a hole in it and then I'm gonna use this pin to draw it through it and that will be that will be the ramp like that this piece right here will be modified to rest against the end of there and on top of there and then I can drive my my car up here winch it up onto this ramp and then I can disassemble it and there's the pin that goes through there stainless steel pin and then that's the other part of the ramp there and then I can take the gantry stand it up in position right here and put it back on and hook up the cylinder onto the ear the end of the cylinder right here and then uh, I can have them mounted back on there if I need them and then if I don't need them what I want to do is make there's there's a spot right here that I've welded the fender on here right here I want to make a, a bracket and then there's some meat right here that I can fasten onto and then I'll have another bracket come off of there and I'm going to put the gantry arms on top of the trailer's fenders. I was originally going to use the gantry arms themselves as fenders as well, but I think I like this better. This is going to work good for me. So here's our, our angle iron. I cut one off the other end. And I'm going to cut this last one off here. Cut this block off right here and make this piece the same as that piece. Same profile. And then I'm going to drill a hole in it with a drill press. And then I might have to use a, a die grinder to open it up a bit. Because I only have a one inch drill to drill that hole through the top of that. So I can drop that pin through to bolt the ramp on. So I got those mounts mounted on the back of the trailer. And that accommodates the ramps there's where the pin goes through in there and then that there's the pin I use but what I'm doing here is I'm making a mount on the tops of the fenders to hold the gantry arms so I want to make them so that they clamp on nice and tight and they go with the trailer and I can either have them mounted on the gantry mount right here or I can have them hanging up on the, on the side and the gantry arms are out of the way and if I don't want the gantry arms with the box then this is kind of like a low profile the gantry arms aren't hanging up in the air so I want to mount them on the side of the trailer like this so I'm hooking up the uh, the bypass valve for the uh, rear axle and to fasten it on the, the valve body onto the trailer I need to like put bolts through it but it just so happens that these bolts here are perfect but they're too big so I'm just going to flatten them on the side so they fit in the slot on the side of the uh, valve body so this is how I'm going to install it. There we go. I just flattened the side of the bolt so it fits in the groove. So now I'm just going to flip flip this one over and do the other side. Okay, so I got that valve in with those two bolts. I I flattened out the uh, flattened out the sides of those two bolts right there so they fit in the slot in the side of that aluminum block there that that valve body is made out of. The fluid comes from the power pack through the box, gets diverted from 
those two cylinders and then instead it goes into that curly hose right there and gets teed into those two hoses that go at the back that go into that cylinder and into the cylinder right here so now I can extend the cylinder and make the wheels make the gap between the the ground and the bottom of the tire push down so there's our there's our cylinders I'll have to tie this hose up so that it's clear so let's see what happens so I spray painted all my gantry arms now there's another one right here. This is the cross piece. Here's the other gantry arm here. So there we go, we got a good coat of paint on everything. Best way to paint chains is to drop them right in the pail of paint and let them drip off. That way they get coated really good. These are the chains for lifting the uh, the roll off box. It actually doesn't roll off. It uh, it uh, gets lifted off with these chains. So I cap the perch here when the arm is on. It sits on here so that when this here is in position. It's not forced against itself. It's got the arms have to be kind of up in order for this to function. So it had to have a perch right here. So I just capped the end of the perch so water don't get in there. And then here we go. Here's the ramp. Made made an end on there. So it sits down. I put the pin in. And there's the other piece of the ramp there. And it all just kind of comes apart and hooks onto the trailer somewhere. I'm already starting that mount right there for the for this scenario for this ramp on the side and there's my upper upper piece right there for the for the gantry crane it goes across the beam <clears throat> and I welded this perch up right here too and put some paint on those things cap the ends so yeah, so I think that's uh, that's a wrap, and then the next one I'll uh, I'll finish uh, uh, mounting those uh, hoses and stuff up for this, and, and we'll activate that scenario right there. And I gotta mount that cylinder over there up in a bracket, and put some paint on that cylinder. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.